How banks and financial institutions complete digital transformation using a UPDF. Hi everyone. Now by embracing digitalization, banks and financial institutions can provide enhanced customer service and reduce the cost of carbon footprint. Today, I'm going to be showing you how banks and financial institutions complete digital transformation and go paperless. First of all, we're going to launch UPDF and click on the open file to upload a file. In this case, I'm going to click on file one and open. Now, UPDF helps you add an electronic signature to contracts and forms and helps simplify the workflow. If you go to the comments section, all the way in the top left corner, right here, or you could click command one as a shortcut. And if you select the signature tool right in the top right corner, which is here, you could create your own signature. Once you've created it, you simply drag it if you want or click on it and you scroll all the way to where you want to add it. In this case, I want to add it here. I click here. And then you could drag it, resize it if you wish, and then put it exactly where you want it. You could either Command C to copy it and then paste it again, and put it here. That's as simple as it is. Now UPDF for iOS allows you to scan your paper documents and save them as digital PDFs. After opening your scanned PDF, in this case it's file 2 for me, we go to the export PDF icon in the top right corner and you choose your desired output format, in this case it's Word. You turn on the text recognition settings which is OCR, you turn that on and you could choose the language or you could lay it to automatically detect, in this case I'm going to say English maybe. And then once you've done that, you click on the export button and then all you have to do is click save. As you can see here, your scanned financial documents will now become searchable and editable. Now all bank statements, accounting files and other files should be well encrypted. A new PDF has a nifty feature that helps you add a password to your PDF file. Once you've opened your PDF, in this case it's PDF file 3 for me, you go to the protect using password icon which is all the way on the right hand side. You click on that, you choose the type of password, so in this case I want document open to block it. You choose the password that you want, for example 1234. This is to view your password in case you want to see how it looks like. And then with the more options, you could choose the encryption rate. The higher the encryption rate, the more um, difficult it is to break through it. And you simply click apply and then you save it where you want to save it. And now it's password protected. Now, lastly, to help banks and financial institutions reduce the high costs of storing and archiving paper files, UPDF helps you compress those files and save them as a PDF A for archiving. So we're going to open our PDF file. We're going to go all the way to the top left where it says file, scroll all the way down to save as PDFA, choose the destination you want to save it in, click on save and that's it, you're pretty much done. UPDF supports all major platforms from Mac OS to Windows to Android and even iOS. You can edit and customize your PDFs anywhere, anytime. Thank you guys for watching. If you found this video helpful, please leave a thumbs up and click on the subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this.